Hollywood man They call me Hollywood man Too proud to stand aside One falling star That longs for one final chance One chance to shoot for the sky you waste your money showing me this crap. Bike movies are out. Joe, I did three bike films for you for practically nothing. Hey, you know, you made a lot of money on me. Uh, we're not going to start on that, are we, Rafe? All right. I begged and I borrowed and I stole the $125,000 to make this movie and a lot of people are dependent on me and I'm not going to let them down. I need three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. If you don't give it to me, I'm screwed. Sorry, Rafe. No. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's get out of here. Rafe. Wait a minute. Here's a number in Southern Florida. The man's name is Angelo Russo. I'd advise you not to call him. Thanks, Joe. Rafe, when do we stop? <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want, Mr. Russo, you got it. Angelo, Rafe. Call me Angelo. Angelo. Okay, Angelo, let me tell you. We're going to make ourselves a good film. I know we will, Rafe. Then everything is settled. Oh, Tony, wasn't there one more thing you wanted to mention to Rafe? Oh, yeah. Can I see you alone for a minute, Rafe? Uh, excuse us, Miss Martin. Huh? Uh, just a couple more things I want to nail down. Oh, yeah. Well, sure. Anyway. Can I freshen the drink, Miss Martin? We put up 375,000, you put up 125,000. We split the profits 50 50. Yeah, that's what Mr. Russo outlined. Yeah, provided that you produce a product in the specified time for the specified money. Right, four weeks, we can do it. Yeah, but if you don't do it, we're going to need some collateral, Rafe. It's just good business. W what do you mean, collateral? Well, 
you own your own last picture outright. You got residual rights on two TV series. You got points and four other movies dribbling in. You got a nice house in Beverly Hills. That's a lot of collateral. You said you could produce in four weeks. I can't. I can. Look, I. Want to do this movie, Rafe? <laughs> yes. Yes, I want to do this movie. It's no problem. Don't you the contracts? Stuff. I can start in three weeks. Make a good movie, Mr. Hollywood. Now, we all know what we're talking about, right? Are you sure, Wraith? I understand the terms, Mr. Russo. I understand the terms, Mr. Russo. <laughs> I understand the terms. We got enough insurance on our end. Been, Harvey. Good, good, good. How are you? Good. Got a little job for you. Guy's name is Stoker. He's doing a movie down in Fort Lauderdale. I want you to get on his ass, harass him, break his balls. I want the movie finished, but not on time. Rafe Stoker, the actor? Yeah. I'll handle it. When? Three, four weeks. Here. Yeah. Get 5,000 more and the job is done. Okay, Tony. I'll tell you something, you picked the right guy for this. I've uh, been in a few movies myself. Just get the job done. Dominic. guys anyway. We're gonna make some bread, Mr. Rose. A lot more than he thinks. You mean we got a job, Harvey? We got another job? Yeah. In a while. I'll keep a secret, all right? Don't tell the others. I ain't gonna say nothing to nobody, Harvey. You know that. You know I ain't gonna say nothing to nobody. My buddy, Mr. Rhodes. Hey, Harvey. Can we go in and have a beer with the rest of the gang? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's beautiful. Pick up Barney. You all right, Barney? Get in there. What are you doing? Get him over here. How was it? How the hell should I know? Did you get it or didn't you get it? You got a problem? Uh, no problem. Just uh, working 26 hours a day, and I just shot a chase sequence that takes three cameras, and uh, I have one. I'm shooting this with short ends from Gone with the Wind. Dave. And the crew's so tired, they can't hit their... Dave! Did you get the shot? You bet your ass. All right, print it. Blew this shot. I lost the mustache. You got the wig? Sure, I got the wig. Come on up. Get him up. There's the wig. I took off. I had the speed. I had the height. And right in the middle of the thing, I could feel it come off. The mustache came off. I must have blown Barney. Shot. What? Barney. Oh. When I went off the end of the pier, is that what I was wearing? Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, Barney, I don't care if he's bare-ass naked. That's the greatest goddamn jump I've ever seen. Okay, well, let's take it from the top. Come on, Harry. so far <laughs> well it's rained every damn day that we've tried to shoot you see as a matter of fact we were supposed to shoot the film in california and uh well we're doing the very best we can under the circumstances well we sure hope the florida sun will shine so you can get yourself right back on schedule that's what i'm trying to do mr Simpson. Hey, they want hey, me to the set now. Hey, hey. Thank well thank you very much mr stoker mr ray stoker ladies and gentlemen thank you wayne and now back to music you want to be in the movies what? <laughs> you want to be in the movies? Hey, Tex, Jesus, come in. I master his voice. <laughs> JJ, you too. Get your ass over here. Come here. Get your ass over here. Sure. How'd you guys, uh... How'd you like to be in a movie? <laughs> Out of sight. Let's go, stereophonic sound. There's a movie shooting right now. Just wondering if you guys like to be in it. Hey, Harvey, I'd like to be in the movies. How are you going to get us in the movies? How? If the star of the movie happens to be a personal friend of mine, dumb dumb. Yeah, all right, all right. That I might. Come in. You stay here. We're gonna be in a movie. Why not? Hey, James. Hey, do I look good enough to Haven't be a last? movie star? Huh? Hey, do I feel you like a movie star? Mama, <laughs> you are. Two million BC. <laughs> mm. Hey, Harvey, we really got to be in the movie? Certainly are, Mr. Rhodes. First, I want to get some wheels. But, but I don't know. You should have them do it, I tell you. We'll have a little fun, too. Wait behind the door over there till I call you. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, look, I didn't mean to bother you. R really. I was wondering if you had any, uh, nap lotion. Nap lotion. Nat lotion? Nat lotion. You know, for nats. Uh, we don't have any nat lotion, so, uh... 
Oh, okay, then, heck, I'll just pop into town and, uh... You know, I gotta say one thing, though, before I go. I really love what you've done with your band. I'm trying to tell you. We're really trying to make it comfortable, you know? Uh, heck, I think it's terrific. What, are you kidding me? I, I got a friend of mine who is an absolute fanatic on the... Uh, Heck, he's right outside. Uh, Rhodes, come on in the side door. Take a look at this place. I think you'll like it. Hey, uh... Just, 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 just... I don't, you don't mind. <laughs> Rhodes, what do you think of this? Gee, this is nice, Harvey. This is what you had in mind, Rhodes? Isn't this nice? I spent a lot yeah. of money on this thing, and I would like to spend some time with this chick. You know what I mean? And you got the icebox, too, Harvey. Rhodes, that's very good. I didn't even uh, see the icebox. I do. I, I really like this. So we missed the ramp. Bring it down. The ramp clear? Just about it. All right. Now? Okay, it's out of sight. Get Barney warmed up. We'll shoot this turkey. 33, partner. Okay, turn it over, Dave. about those kids, period. That didn't, that's it. Are you really going to get us in the movie? That was in Spartacus with Kirk Douglas. Uh, is he the one with the, or the, the teeth? Kirk, Kirk Douglas.
Didn't know all that, did you? Larry, get her out of here. Look, lady, we're trying to eat in peace. Oh, please, don't mind me. Go right ahead. Eat. I like to watch. Get out of here. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. It's, uh, time. Uh, look here, brother. Ain't you got a sense of humor, man? We just trying to have a little fun. We ain't hurt nobody. I'll have you know that this lady right here is on the committee of Planned Parenthood. Partner. This is a federal narcotics agent. Do you know what this is, punk? Uh oh, Daddy. You two get out of here right now. Right. Sir, I apologize. Officer, oh, I'm sorry. I consider this my fault. These people are with me. We had a party earlier. Get going. <laughs> too much beer and wine. The old Riley Miss, I apologize. I can't have any fun anymore. Yeah, them cops, they break up everything. Christ. Huh? Get a bigger copy. I'll take you kick his ass. Huh? I got his punk hanging. I'll take that crap off nobody, man. <laughs> Newlyweds, I got that newlywed hanging. Man, he sure was pissed off. Hey, buddy! We're gonna wake up. <gasps> Tuxedos, we're moving. Oh, God. Mr. Rose, this is excellent work. This is excellent work. I thought you liked that, Harvey. You know what I'm going to do? Just for this? I'm going to see that you get a feature role in the movie. Me? Feature role. Me. Let's get the hell out of here. shot everything we scheduled. Yeah. I just wonder if there's any good. It was good. Hey, Red. Yeah. Uh. Hey. 530 production meeting. Okay. Yes, sir. Nice week. Hey. Well, what I want to tell you was, uh, I mean that I noticed that you know that I screwed the shot. You noticed I, I didn't have a leather jacket on. Well, I'll do it again for free. I know it's a low budget <laughs> film. You need the bed. I mean, that's all there is to it. Hey, let me tell you something, partner. You go off a 30 foot pier, 70 miles an hour on a motorcycle, and you jump 150 feet. If somebody notices that you don't have a black leather jacket on, I'm going to kiss your ass in Macy's window and give you 30 <laughs> seconds to draw a crowd. You know what I mean? A tough guy, huh? Well, bam! Oh. Study for four or five years. <laughs> okay, later. Okay, buddy. Joker.
One chance to shoot for the sky And if the world gets in my way I'll still go on Just the same Okay, well, what about the dailies? Look at the dailies. Lunchtime. Barney, have you got the fight scene blocked out? Because we have to have it today. It's together. Give me about an hour. Talk to you about an hour about it, okay? Yeah. Okay, and I promise you this time I'm not going to punch you out like the last time. Punch you. I love yeah. it. Can I say something? What? What if it rains? I'll get you an umbrella. Dave, if it rains and we move inside the store and everything is fine, right? We don't have the store. I'll get the store, Janice. I'll take care what of it. What if you don't get All the right. store? Oh, you know what? Listen, I don't want to bring up bad news or anything. I have to redeem for the fellas. No money since Tuesday. Hey, Barney. Oh, buddy, didn't I ask you about a hundred times not to talk to me about per diem or money? You talk to Dennis. Well, talk Dennis. to Dennis. Dennis told me to talk to you. He we'll did talk you. to me no. about it, Ray, but I told him to talk to you because until you, you talk to Ian Brinkman, no. we don't have any money. I'll talk to Brinkman, all, all right? Down, pal. Turkey, he <laughs> <laughs> Who's in charge of this outfit? I guess I am. Officer. But uh, what can I do for you? Well, I'm going to tell you one time, and I want you to listen to me. I don't want to hear these loud son of a bitches on my streets again. Well, we, we had a permit, and I told you what we were going to be filming. And you said it was all right. So you're not listening to me. If I hear these loud bastards on the streets again. You're not going to have any permit. Yes, sir. Nice jump, kid. Hey, you're charming. Bernie Baffle, that muffler for me, would you? Covered. Okay. Anybody working with me? Everybody but God, we got a light problem. We got a cloud cover moving in. We got a light problem, then we use it. What's the matter with the you? The generator ain't gonna put out enough juice. To... And we got Bill, two lights Bill. over. Yeah. You get a gaffer? Oh, yeah. We'll handle it for you, will you? Handle it. All right, thanks. Don't worry about it, Ray. If we don't match the light, we can always donate the film to the Braille Institute. You know that evil Knievel? I mean, the guy's a, a great guy and all that. When I was at the Snake River, I was going to jump the canyon. I just dropped me a little mescaline. I have my 950. Built me a ramp. Took off of the ramp. I just came over the thing, and I missed it by eight feet. You know what happened? What happened? I died. <laughs> what is your joke? You so you wanted to be in show business, huh, kid? You just keep laughing. Just seeing it's coming up next. Uh-oh. <laughs>
Is he, uh, it's a friend of mine. Is yeah, he yeah, he's in makeup. Makeup, it's where? It's Over around, here? It's around the corner. Thank you so much. How's it going? Good? It's fine. Yeah. There he is! Rafe Stoker, oh, son of a bitch. For Christ's sake, how the hell you been, man? Well, it's been a doing? long time. How yeah. are you? Jesus uh, Christ. I'm doing good. Good to see you. Julie Martin. Julie. Julie, for Christ's sake, Julie Martin. Excuse me. I said, Julie, listen, I'm not just your average fan. I'm just acting myself. Rafe will tell you. Listen, baby, I just like, I like you to know. Thank you. Hey, partner. Uh, hey, hey. Thank you so hey. Much. I don't want to be impolite or anything like that, but we got to go back to work. And uh, I'll tell you something else. I don't remember you. <laughs> you don't remember me? No, I don't. Uh, How soon they forget? <laughs> Rafe, two and a half weeks I worked with you on Run Angel Run, for Christ's sake, give me a break. Hey, Harvey here was in Spartacus, man. Spartacus, Kirk Douglas. Yeah, uh, allow me to introduce my friend Rose. Rose, say a little Rafe. Oh, Rose, cool, Rafe. Hey, you playing the motorcycle? Well, sir, Rafe. Hey, I'm alive. Uh, See, you give me that shit, it makes me crazy. <laughs> Hey, look, look, run, 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 Angel run was a long time ago. Right it's good to see you again, but we gotta go to work. See you. Oh, uh, right, right, right. She's gotta be. She's got to promise. I promise you. You look just about good enough to eat. <laughs> bad, you, <laughs> you, you told me what? You're watching about a thousand times? Huh? Yeah, not. <laughs> yeah, hundred bucks a day per man. That includes the bikes. You get two choices, man. We start early in the morning. You got ten seconds. I don't need it. Later, later, later. Calm down. Hey, I'll tell you what. You take your people and you get them out of here now. Good bad, my brother. This man is pissed. Get back to work. All right, strike your arc. All right, hit that other one. Crank him up. Crank him up. Crank him up. Are you guys set? He can play the fucker up. All right, run, run. Mr. Russo. That bullshit. You gonna let him get away with that? Let's go, hey, brother. Hey, settle down, settle down. We've got ourselves a movement to make. Okay, you're right. Okay. Okay? Still gonna make a deal with him. Some cash. Ain't nobody would buy some cash, is it? Bulls. He ain't gonna go for it. You blow up his generator. He'll go for it. No way. You get next to him. He's gonna knock you on your ass. 
Again. Shut up. I saw him in a couple TV series. Looks about half tough to me. Fuck it. And how would you know that, huh? He knows all about that stuff. Harvey's been to Hollywood. I didn't know you were in the movies, Harvey. Oh, yeah, man. Harvey was in Spartacus with Kirk Douglas. Hi, Huff. <laughs> the only pictures Harvey do. He play the coyote in the road for that. Stoker, I want you to pick up the camera. Got it. Pick that. Oh. <laughs> uh, honey? How's your bunny? I want to buy my associates here uh, a round of drinks, okay? Anything they want, and uh, hey, give the bill to this guy here, Jesus, okay? Hey, wait a minute. Let me go with you. What would you wear? Hey, Mr. Barton! What's wrong with your pool table here? Why don't you try sticking a quarter in it? <laughs> So, nice to see you. Thank you. The party's waiting for you right over here. Find him in the corner table. Nice to see you. Angelo, how you doing? Very fine. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Julie? Uh, what can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thank you. Waiter? A bottle of your finest champagne, please, for my friends. to we'll celebrate our new venture here. Hey, thanks a lot, Angelo, and uh, thank you for coming over, because I know how busy you are. Never too busy for you, Ray. And my partners and I are very pleased to see the publicity that the new movie is bringing into the area. <laughs> That's great. Then everything's fine. Oh, oh yeah, yeah we're terrific. We're some really? stuff you can't believe. Julie is doing I mean, Rafe is doing the directing and... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really fantastic. Then there are yeah, no problems. Want... Well, we got a couple of... Uh, we... We had a couple of little problems. We ran into, uh, we ran into some rain, and uh, we weren't expecting that. And then some bikers came through and shot a couple of holes, holes in the generator. Don't worry about the pumps. The generator's insured. Yeah, I know the generator's insured. But some things came up that we... Angelo? Angelo, we're behind schedule. We're not really that far behind schedule with you. Rafe, how far behind? Five days. I see. My partners and I give you three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. In return, you promised a good commercial product. These are your figures. How much more? Well, if we don't run into any more unforeseen circumstances, I need another hundred thousand dollars. Oh, a hundred thousand dollars? Absolutely out of the question. Take it to the man and drop gold to you. I take it down, take it up the low. Yes, I yes, I yes, I yes, I yes, I yes, I do. Yeah. 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 Last night, I met this chick at the bar, and I took her home to the hotel. And I was, uh, you know, she said she wanted me to tie her up. Yeah? 
Huh? All right, I'll be right there. I'll be back in a little while. Keep it warm for me. So I went down to the car to get some coke. And uh, I came back, and this is what my attitude was when I came back. All the doors were all the same. What room is that? <laughs> Business is business. If you can't fulfill your commitment, we're prepared to write it off. Hmm. But we won't be happy. Look, Angelo, I'm trying to do something here. That budget I gave you was bottom line. I wasn't... I, 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 I didn't know... Rafe, I'll give you 50000 more. It's not enough. My partners and I We'll commit ourselves to 50,000 more. Not 51, 50. If you'll guarantee me a good commercial product. If not, you got it. Then that's settled. Yes, sir. Then we have no more problems. No, sir. Ms. Harris? It's always a pleasure. Thanks, Angela. See you later. I know that we've discussed this before, but why don't you let me use my money? It would be so much safer. Judy, God damn it. We have oh, been through that. But just you being here with me on the phone. Pardon me. I'm, I'm totally sorry. Could I, uh, could I trouble you folks for an autograph? I'd be very pleased. The 
when did you get out of here? Just got here. <laughs> but you came on my set. You shot a couple of holes in the generator, and I punched you in the mouth. Let's call that even. But I'm gonna tell you, if I see you again, when you get back on my set, and I don't give a about that gorilla there, I'm gonna hurt you. And I want it to be clear. Now listen, let's keep it quiet. Do you know what I mean? Sure, yeah, sure. See a trick. <laughs> See, that's the trick. I took one out, but you never quite know which one to take out. But this thing's got five more big ones in it, and it's got a hair trigger, so you better be sweet. You understand? Yeah. Mr. Rhodes, Mr. Stoker here's not gonna let us be in this movie. But you told me I was gonna be in a movie, Savvy. What he's gonna do, though, is he's gonna give us some money to let him finish his movie. Mr. Rhodes, what do you think uh, the budget would be on a stupid little turkey movie like Mr. Stoker here's making? What do you think? I don't know, Harvey. I... Well, what do you think, Harvey? Come on, Rhodes. Give me a take a guess. Give me a ballpark figure. Give me a guess. I don't know, Harvey. About three hundred thousand? Sure. About three hundred thousand. Yeah. Very good, Rhodes. About three hundred thousand. Well, Mr. Stoker here is going to give us ten percent of his budget. How much would that be, Rhodes? Uh, three thousand dollars, Harvey. Thirty thousand. Yeah. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. I don't have thirty thousand dollars. I know you don't have it in your pocket, you stupid. But you can get it. I just saw Mr. Moneybags walking out of here. I know you can get it. And you're gonna get it. You know why? <laughs> We're gonna borrow Miss Julie for a while. Shut up. You shut up. We're gonna borrow Miss Julie for a while. And then when you get it, we'll have a uh, sort of a swap, you know. So what we'll do now, we'll just go for a nice little ride. We'll drop you off rave somewhere. I'll give you a buzz in the morning. Okay? Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rose, why don't you walk out ahead with Mrs. Tucker? I'll follow behind with Miss Julie. Is that okay with you, Mr. Movie Star? Let's go. Good evening. Nice to see you. You have reservations?
son of a bitch. I mean, the cops. Come on, man, the cops. Let's get out of here, man, the cops. Get the hell out of here, man. Come on. silent. I don't want to remain silent. I want to know what the hell I'm doing in the back of a police car with handcuffs on me. You're going to jail. What do you think you're doing? What for? Who are those guys you fight with back there? Look, I don't know who they were. I know they were out of their goddamn minds. Well, they went with you. Hey, look, how am I going to report it to you? You wanted to chase me out of town already once today. Now, when are I you think... people going to get down to some reality? That's a real gun I saw out there. These people aren't playing around with you. What the hell do you think you're doing? You want to make one of these cheap Hollywood movies? Now, we had this damn town cleaned up by that biker's gun until you and that damn movie crew came in here. Now they're back. You, you know, this is really ridiculous. I don't believe it. Being here with you is like playing a bad scene in a beam movie with a dumb honky sheriff. Will you keep it up, Mouth? I'll show you a honky cop. You got a cigarette? I don't smoke. I didn't figure you would. Look, I know this is hard for you to understand, but all I wanted to do was make a movie. I didn't want to cause you any problems. I didn't want to cause me any pain. But I gotta finish this movie. Will you let me? You gotta finish your movie. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna let you finish your movie. And I'm not doing you any favor. Because this dumb honky cop wants a piece of their ass. Thank you. Can I ask you something? You haven't shut your mouth yet, have you? What I'd like to know is, uh, who do you hate most? Me? The bikers? Or, or yourself? You're just gonna have to wait and find out, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, what's he doing in there? What's he doing in there? Please, sir, just be patient. The doctor knows what he's doing. How long is he gonna be in there? I told you before, just take a seat. Take a seat, patient. Shit. Yeah. If he was your friend, you'd worry about how he was. Sick. Relax and sit down. You can relax and sit down. If your friend was in there, relax and sit. Dr. Seidelman, line one, please. Dr. Seidelman, line one, please. What's wrong with your little boy? Oh, he's fine. It's his father. What's wrong with his father? Oh, he was hurt this afternoon. My friend was hurt, too. Next time we relax and sit down and don't worry about it. Yes, of course, yes. I worry about my husband, too. What's his name, you little boy? Eddie. Eddie, come here. I'm not gonna hurt you. You afraid of me? Dr. Joe? You know I wouldn't hurt your little boy, you know that. Of course not, no. Hey, Eddie, you, you watch the Three Stooges? You want me to tell you a story about the Three Stooges, Eddie? Hey, Hoff, you all right? Huh? Hey, just a minute, sir. Who's responsible for this bill? This bill must be paid before we let you leave, sir. Do you have any identification? Blue Cross? 
Any medical insurance? No, we don't take credit cards. Have you got a driver's license? You're a long way from home, Thomas. Is get this the your correct address? Hey, listen, get a hold of your friend. He can't leave here without signing no, 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 this. No, I'm sorry, right. but I need a signature. It's all right. Everything's going to be all right. It's all right. Everything's all right. You shouldn't ask him for that. <laughs> I didn't mean to kill her, man. I didn't, man. I didn't mean to kill her, Hoff. You just tell me what you want me to do. I'll make up for it. Anything you want, man. I'm gonna kill Stoker. All right. We'll kill Stoker, Harvey. I'll help you get him, man. Not you. You let me down tonight, Rules. I'm gonna kill Stoker. All right, Harvey. All right, Harvey. Whatever you say, you kill Stoker, man. You kill Stoker. He's got to know it was me, though. Crazy. I don't know what's going on. People running around with guns. It's not make believe anymore. Guys stuck a pistol up your belly tonight. Wait. Wait, I'm okay. I know you are. I know you are. And that's why I'm putting you on an airplane this morning for Los Angeles. So you're going to stay okay. If you're staying here, I am staying here. All right, then that, that, that's a wrap, isn't it? I mean, that's, uh, it's wrapping. I mean, I mean. But I'm just gonna shut down a whole movie and send everybody home. You're not gonna quit. There is no movie anywhere in the world that means as much as you mean to me. I know that. It's only the top. <laughs> Feel better, Harvey? Feel better? I'm gonna 
kill him. I am going to kill Stoker. I am. We're on the downside of 40. We can't afford to put it in reverse. That's all right. You can kill him! No! 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I'm on the downside of 50, partner. And I'm just about ready to hang it up. Been a lot of rides in my day. This just ain't Megan. Hey, Harvey! Listen. You better start getting your face together, Dave, because you don't want your friend to finish the movie without you, do you? How you doing? I'm doing okay. You don't like me, do you? You're all right, Harvey. Why haven't you asked me how I'm feeling? All right. How's your head today, Harvey? How you doing, babe? Fine, thank you. Good, I'm glad, man. I'm real glad for you. Because you need that. J.J. Yeah. What? Why were you laughing? Why were you laughing before? Chris, I don't know, Harvey. Let me in on it, man. I... You need a good joke, Harvey? Yes! I got a joke for you. Look at yourself, Harvey. You're ridiculous, man. You're gonna kill Stoker? <laughs> you can't pull your pants up without King Kong to help you, and you're gonna kill Stoker? Give me a break. Nobody, man. Hey, man, you can't do that. Hey, Harvey, man, wait a minute. It's me. I ain't never gonna tell nobody, man. I promise, man. I'm gonna be with you always. I ain't never gonna tell nobody. Bye. 
How's it look? Yeah, the swelling's gone down. Can you cover it? Yeah, yeah, we can get that covered. But I hope you don't do this every night. I'm a makeup man, not a plastic surgeon. Right. How are you holding up? <laughs> oh. Let me see, let me see. Guy, you have done a fantastic job, but you still make an ugly chick. You ready to go to work? Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Let's go. Me, you back it up, son. Scene 26, take one. Action rate. Get it, you friend. Now, take everything and just move it all the way down there. Dave, yeah. Bill, come with me. I'll show you next set. All right, Dave, you're going to pick us up. Direct continuation of the last scene. Come down here, Julie and I, two cops after us over the railing and... Strike that. You pick us up down here because Julie's never going to get over that reading. All right, I'm going to take a shoulder shot. Take a hit at that second yellow box. Bud, you time me 20 feet behind me. Give me a pop. Bam. Hit it. Keep on going right around. As soon as we clear that side of the boat, Dave. Otherwise, I'm going to pan you all the way around. All the way around. Okay, I can do this with one reflector. Give me one reflector on the end down there. Yeah, one reflector! Sky? Hey, Gene, it's ain't a coffee break. Get the reflector. Set the camera up down on the end and get me a, a G-15 for it. Let's go get a drink. Happy. Audrey, would you, would you stay with me, please? I want to go home, Rafe. Hey. Dawn, I know the hour is long. It's just hot on the sun of this time. Come on. But we've done a lot of these turkeys, and we're going to do one more, and we're going to finish this. Rafe, song. one of those freaks raped me last night. trouble. We gave you another 50000 You still shouldn't be in its schedule. Now, we need more insurance to protect our investment. Just a few papers for you to sign, Rafe. <laughs> I don't believe you guys. I got $125,000 of my own money in this film. I got my life and... I take the papers and shove them. Rafe, sign these papers or you'll be in our office tomorrow morning with all our investment. When you finish the movie, you get 50% back for the asking.
movie riff. Get up out of the water, would you please? Yeah, must be. Bernie, I want to show you about this boat someday. You got too much money in the last time you worked in Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. You want an adjustment for that? Hey, Ray! Hey! <laughs> Mr. Movie Star! Oh, boy, what a good-looking boat. All right, here's what's going to happen, Barney. I just kicked the two cops in the water. But there's still sirens all over. They're coming in. Julie and I are going to jump in a boat. I'm going to tell her to get down because we don't have the money to double her. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as I ram that thing forward, it's going to be a cut. It's going to be you. So why don't you get in the drag? Sounds good. You know, it's a really fine boat. It does about 150 miles an hour. What I can do is take her up around that buoy and hit that curve, come back right to Barney, the bridge. Will you wear the jacket this time? Good thinking. Dave, bring it on down here. Uh, what it was a little angle running that windshield. Okay, all right. Put me that right here. Pull that right here. Right on this guy. Oh, that's the one. Okay, 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 that's Take one. Action. Come in and get out. That's, that's, he's getting in hard. I got it. I got it. All right, all right, cut it. Cut it, Dennis. All right, Dennis, get Barney out here. Barney, we're ready. Barney, get Barney out here. Barney, we're ready. You got him, man. You got him, man. You got him. Oh, look. Where'd he come from, man? That's him. Yeah. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out! That was him over there, Hobbs. Huh? 
Bless him. He was over there. Bless him. Get up. Everything completed. You got what you're paying for. Of course, no problem. Where are you? 
Well, I'm at the beach cafe and I have a plane to catch. Oh, all right. We'll be there in 30 minutes. Hey, did a good job, Hollywood man. Dominic, the beach cafe. Said a half an hour. It's been 40 minutes. Let's go. They took half my movie, and I'm gonna get it back. And I'm waiting. Movie. Well, it doesn't seem worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Well, for Christ's sakes, Rafe. A few days ago, there were dead bodies all over town. Do you think that a movie is worth it? It wasn't my fault. I finished the movie, and it's good. Sure, it was good. Stay. 